Hi and welcome to Mr. Minute Maths. Just a quick math skill, and it's how to use a protractor. You must always read from zero. Now I know that there's zero on both sides of the protractor, but often the students aren't sure which side to read from. So what you do is you line up the 180 degrees and zero line with the line you're measuring from. Put that kind of cross bit right on the point where you want to measure, and you read from zero. So 0, 10, 50, 60, 70, 80, 900, all the way up to, in this case, 148. Now you can see that that angle is obtuse. So you expect to get a number that's bigger than 90 and less than 180. Uh, a common error is to read from this side and to go, oh, that angle is 30-something. Um, but obviously that's obtuse. Similarly, here's another angle. This time I've chosen an acute one. We line up the base of the protractor right onto the line, put the zero there, and put that kind of cross line right at the point you want to measure from, read from zero, and in this case we have about 58. They'll give you a margin of error. Don't read from that side and say that it's 120, because obviously this is an acute angle. So just to go over that again, make sure you're always reading from zero, Look at the size of your angle, roughly is it obtuse or acute. Make sure you're reading from zero and you get something that roughly sounds right. Don't go and say that this is uh, 45, rather it's 148. Obviously if it's bearings, then you'd have your protractor vertical and you'd measure clockwise from zero. Thanks.